A friend of mine asked me for some help uh, sculpting out the seat of a Welsh chair. And I'll show you uh, uh, my process on getting this done. And uh, hopefully that'll help you out if you're uh, doing any kind of design on a Welsh chair uh, or a similar process can be done on Windsor chairs. Um, this uh, process is going to be using two plugins, uh, both of them by Frito 6. Uh, both the Kirby Loft and the Bezier Spline uh, plugins. And at the end of the video, I'll provide a link on to where you can uh, download these plugins. Uh, certainly, you can use the uh, Bezier plugin by Google, but I find uh, Frito's uh, plugin to be a little bit more user friendly. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is uh, just draw out uh, half of the seat blank. Uh, we really don't need to uh, do the entire uh, seat uh, because uh, the left side is symmetrical or it's a mirror image of the, the right side. So we'll just do one and then make it into a co component and then uh, make a copy and put those two together. Uh, using the uh, uh, SketchUp plan that uh, my colleague had sent me, uh, I found that the uh, the final dimensions of the seat were uh, an inch and three quarters thick, uh, 18 inches uh, deep, and 21 inches wide. So we're going to cut this in half and draw up a rectangle that is uh, still 18 inch or. 18 inches deep, but only 10 and a half inches wide. And I took the uh, time ahead of time to uh, uh, make some guidelines to help us out and speed up this process. Now, I'm also going to draw out the curves uh, that are going to uh, delineate the, the shape of the seat. So we'll use our arc tool. Now these uh, guidelines are set in uh, an inch or two actually i think two inches and uh, uh off to the inside and two inches uh, to the out uh, or towards the back then i'll use the bezier spline and set our first point then our second point. And we double click there. So we'll get our eraser tool and just remove uh, these corners. I'm going to push pull this up an inch and three quarters, which is the thickness of the seat. Now this is also uh, chamfered or it's got a bevel on the bottom so we'll go ahead and uh, set that up. And those uh, going an inch and an inch down. And what we do is we set up our path for uh, doing a follow me operation. Now from here, uh, we're going to do an offset, uh, which is going to delineate uh, where the, the sculpting of the seat starts. And for this, I'm just going to do a simple offset. And I saw from uh, uh, the original uh, SketchUp drawing is that they're about two inches set in. So we can just do an offset on part of the uh, model. We're 
We're bringing this in two inches. Now we have to finish off this line. Now from here we'll make the arches that uh, will set the contour. I already set this uh, guideline a half inch down. Then on the inside of the seat, we're going to make sure we get this on face. And then here we'll go back and use the bezier tool. So now the process that we want to do is just erase these faces and then we're going to use a, uh, a skinning uh, plug-in to create the, uh, the sculpted out part of the seat. And this is uh, uh, Frito's curve aloft. We use the skinning of shapes. So we just highlight each of the edges. And click out in the uh, empty space. And then we validated the contours and it gives us an idea of what the uh, uh, skinning process looks like. And then we click again and it does it. Now it looks like it reverses faces here. So let's uh, open this up. Uh, the, the skinning process creates a group here. So let's just explode this group. And then... Uh, but right click and then reverse faces on that. And there you have half of our seat. So, so now let's uh, hide some of these dimensions or guidelines. We're going to make this all a component. We'll just call that half seat. Now we'll get our move copy tool, click, hit the control uh, for the invoke the copying and then we're just going to move this down the red axis. Now we're going to flip this along the red axis and then we're going to move this right back uh, There you have it. The only thing we need to do now is let's open up this component for editing and get our eraser tool. And then holding the shift key down, it'll hide the, all the seam lines. So holding the shift key down, just click on the seam lines. And you'll go through and Close that component, and then we'll take these two components and make them a whole com component.